Hello crafty friends, welcome to this Stamping September video. Today I'm going to do some stamping through some DIY stencils. So I have here some masking paper and two mirror image leafy branchy dies. And I'm running these together through my die cutting machine to create stencils of the leafy branchy dies. The masking paper is a very low tack self adhesive paper that you can use obviously to mask off areas of your card and you can make all sorts of shapes with it. You can tear it, you can die cut from it, you can use it as a straight edge, however you want to use it. But I stuck my stencils down onto a piece of smooth white card and then I took a linen textured stamp added some Catherine Pooler ink, I think it was Skylight, it's a dark bluey green. I didn't put the stamp on a stamping block because what I was aiming for was just to create a leafy branchy shape with texture. I wasn't looking for it to be a linen texture particularly, just textural, not solid. So I inked up the stamp and then held it in my hand and then used my fingers just to press it down over the stenciled area, layering it up in different parts, bringing in some variation that way, but making sure to get all the edges of that stencil inked up. I did bring in a couple of other Catherine Polar inks in the same kind of bluey green, greeny blue colour family, some lighter, some darker. And in total, I made three leafy branchy stenciled textural images. Once I'd stenciled my images, I heated the masking paper with my hairdryer to soften the adhesive on the back because for some reason today, this particular piece of masking paper was being far more sticky than it should have been and it was a bit difficult to peel off. It didn't rip the paper underneath the stenciled paper but it ripped itself and it took me quite a while to peel off all the little bits but I got there in the end and in the end I made three leafy branchy stenciled images which I then die cut using this small plain square die because my idea was to have three leafy branchy textural square pieces running down the left hand side of my card. I did want to give my squares a little bit of dimension so I die cut some squares the same size from some scrap bits of white card which I then stuck to the back of the leafy branchy squares and then I stuck these on the card but before I did I chose my sentiment which says thinking of you and I placed it about a third of the way down on the left hand side because I wanted it to be between the top and the middle squares. You'll see what I mean when I construct everything. I took a panel of white card, popped it in my stamp positioner, dusted it with corn flour to remove any grease, static, moisture, etc. And then I stamped it in that very dark Catherine Polar Skylight ink. I did this a few times because this was a silicone stamp and the Catherine Polar inks are water reactive or the water based, so they don't always go well on silicone stamps the first time you stamp them. So I did several stamps and it looked fine in the end. I then cleaned my stamp and stamped on it with some embossing ink. And then I dipped that in clear embossing powder and heated it with my heat tool. So now I've got a lovely rich bluey green sentiment that has a bit of dimension and lots of gloss. Next, I put my card panel on my card front using Tape Runner. I'm going back to using Tape Runner rather than glue to adhere my panels to the front of my cards because I still find with glue, I do get a lot of warping of the card blank, which I don't like. So once that was all stuck together, I then added glue to the back of my leafy squares. I can use glue on these no problem at all because it's a small area and it's not going to warp the panel or the card. I used my T-square ruler to get these lined up, added one above the sentiment and two below trying to get some even spacing so it looked purposeful. I undenard over about 24 hours 
about whether to add anything else to this card maybe some nouveau drops or something but i decided to leave it as it is to keep it super clean and super simple so although i've got some really textural leaves that kind of messy scratchy look is restrained to within those squares keeping the rest of the card clean and simple so as we're focusing on stamping this month i thought i'd ask you another stamping question and that is what's the newest stamp set that you've got at the time of filming the newest set that i've got is a grungy film strip stamp set so i'll definitely be using that in this stamping september series but let me know what your newest stamp set is in the comments right that's this card done and dusted and this video thanks for joining me today i hope i've given you an idea of something to do with the stamps that you've got in your stash if i have please do leave a thumbs up let me know in the comments subscribe ring the notification bell and see you back here very soon for another stamping september video